Hi everyone, welcome to A Proverbs Home. If this is your first time here and you're stopping by, welcome. I am so glad that you are here. And for everyone that has been with me through this journey, we have had so much fun. So much fun. I am so thankful for all my subscribers that have been here. I just really enjoy you ladies. You know, we have a nice little group here and it's just really special. So if you want to come along and join this group, this is great. Drama free, keeping it drama free. We like, if there's any drama, I cut it off immediately at the seams and nobody even knows I did. Okay, so I like to keep this channel drama free. The ladies that are on here, I think I have a couple of gentlemen, but they come and they go. But the majority, 98% of my viewers are all women. And they're great women that like homemaking, that like sharing on here. So go through the comments and get to read some of their comments that are really special to me and really touch my heart. So thank you to everyone. But yes, I'm in a new room here videotaping. And I'm so excited because I am going to be using this room to videotape my videos. Not all of them, but quite a few because I really like it. It's bright in here. And it's just a really nice corner. And the funny thing about it, behind me is my bathroom. And this is basically where I have my sink and my vanity. This is called a vanity because it's just a sink and a mirror. So I have this part here that I can use. And I, you know what? I'm having so much fun. I really, really am enjoying it. I'm enjoying bringing you artwork up on my wall. Enjoying that and just making it so simple. If you have... See, if you haven't seen the video of my dollar store artwork, you should go on ahead and check that out. It is just a fun video. And this is my dollar store artwork that I have found. I found a couple of new pieces, which is this piece up here with the vase and the lemons and the books. And then I have a beautiful piece over here that you really can't see, which is a pretty vase. It was buy one, get one free at Dollar General. And I really am enjoying this part of my home. It's so funny how you can take a corner of your home and change it and it comes to life. And you really, really enjoy it. So today we're going to be talking about upcycling and how we can save money on shopping for clothes, buying things that we don't really necessarily need to buy. You know, I'm learning to stay home more besides work because I do work. But I am learning to be in my home more to enjoy the things that I have here without having to go out. Because the more you go out, not that there's anything wrong with going out, but if you're looking to save money and you're always at the stores, you're going to be more tempted to buy things that you don't need. You see something on sale, you pick it up, right? That's what we intend to do as women. Come on, let's be honest. I know I like to shop. There's women that don't like grocery shopping. They don't like the stores. I like to shop within limits after a while i get bored with it but it's best for me to stay home and use what i have and the things you see here i've had okay i've had for a while some things are new but the majority of everything else is stuff that i've already had and i incorporated into this room so i am very very excited it's early in the morning it's my day off but you know even on your day off you should try to look your best at home I think that sometimes people use that comment, who cares? Nobody cares is my life. You, you're exactly right. I agree with that. It is our life. We should be able to make choices. God has given us free will. But I think when we get dressed up and we put on a nice shirt, even if with jeans, and we get dressed up nice, we feel good. And if somebody comes to the door, we're presentable. Whether we're staying home, we don't have to go anywhere. We could be cleaning and cooking but feeling presentable and having one house dress, if that's all you have, one house dress and wearing that in your home. I have one dress that I like to wear all the time. It's a yellow dress. Matter of fact, I'm going to get that dress and I'm going to show you. This is my yellow house dress I wear all the time. If I'm out at work or I'm out somewhere with my husband, I come home, I change, I throw this on. This is so comfortable. It's long, it goes past my knees, and it feels so comfy. I did have to sew it. Now, when I bought it, it was really big from the top because I'm shaped weird, okay? Like, I'm bigger in some places, smaller in others, right? And then, like, up here is one of the parts where clothes fit me big. So, that's why you always see me sometimes in videos doing like this to my shirt because my shirts hang off my shoulders, so what I did was I took a sewing needle and thread and I sewed up here 
by the sleeve on both sides and it's so comfortable to wear this is one of my favorite dresses i wash it over and over again i wear it all the time great soft dress to wear i love wearing this dress i just think it's so comfortable and um it just feels comfortable on it feels comfortable when i'm cooking and i'm cleaning if i have that dress on it feels comfortable even if it hasn't gotten stained yet but if it did i would still wear it that's how comfortable that dress is so you have that one clothing item that is so comfortable on you that you like to wear in your home okay so i think it's important that in our homes that we're presentable why do we always think that we have to look nice just to go somewhere but in our homes we let ourselves go so i think we need to teach our young women our young daughters take care of yourself because it's so important now let me show you i have a bag here and i was decluttering some of my clothes and I was going through things and I'm I am going to give these away but I want to share something with you if you have clothes at home you can't really afford who can afford in these days to go shopping have you seen the prices at Walmart even some of the clothes now I like Walmart I think they're one of the cheapest places comparing to some other places and they do have some nice comfy shirts and some nice things that we can buy that are that especially if you were if you wait till they go on clearance if you wait till they go on clearance then you can get them and you can use them. And some of them are comfortable. You know, it is Walmart, but like their Time and True collection. Very comfortable clothes. I like buying their clothes in their plus size section. Really nice things. But let me show you. This, I got this shirt at Walmart. And this is Ter Tara and Sky. Tara and Sky. Okay. Now, I wore this shirt. I have one that has pink flowers on it the same exact style and it just makes me look too wide too wide at my hips because the way it fits here it just looks too wide but if you look at this you could always take it in if you have something like that and you if you have a daughter you can take it in and make a little dress that she could wear with leggings that is a great way to upscale your clothes is to pass them on to your children to your daughters pass them on now, I know Young girls, they want to dress more in style. They don't want to dress like their moms and their grandmas. I totally get that. That's something we have to understand, right? That they're still young. They want to look pretty. But there's ways you could take those clothes. If you have a sewing machine, if you have needle and thread, and make them where they will like them. Now I'm looking for my cat. Oh, he's sitting right there. So even cutting the sleeves off or leaving the sleeves and taking it in and making a nice little dress would be perfect and she could wear with some black leggings or some black tights it just would look really really nice i remember my granddaughter sometimes would take my baggy shirts my baggy sweatshirts and she would wear them with her jeans as she looked adorable so these are nice and it's a great way to upscale and not throw stuff away but these i am going to give them away to someone that can use them or i'm going to donate them so don't throw those clothes away that you have. Look at them first. Now, if, they, if you cannot do anything with them and it's just causing clutter, donate them. But if there's something you can do with them, maybe you can take those clothes and upscale them in many different ways. Now, I had this. I saw this. I don't wear these anymore. I've just grown out of them. I've had them for quite a while. And I thought these would be nice to make a little girl a nice pillow. A cute little pillow especially for your daughter i took a blouse one time that had the eiffel tower on it and it was my blouse it was blue and i was gonna throw it out but i cut it up and i made a pillow for my granddaughter she had it for a long time this was years ago i if i have a picture i'll insert the picture so you can see the pillow that i made so just taking something like this is nice and soft cutting it and then using it for a small pillow this video to show you what I made with the flowery um, leggings that I had that I showed you okay I was gonna show you at the end of the video but I'm gonna show you now well I got a bandana out of it that I will wear around the house especially for now in the summer I just really like it when I'm cleaning when I'm going under you know the kitchen cabinets when I'm decluttering I need to cover my hair 
These are just great using in the garden. And I got that out of the leggings. I also made a little pillow. Just a quick pillow. I used fabric, no sew glue, but I made a little pillow. And this is so cute. And um, you can just even give it to your dog to throw around and to play with. Or you can make a little pillow, like I said, for your daughter, your granddaughter. When they're sitting back and they're reading a book, they have this to put on the back of their neck. Or you could just make a pillow for you to sit on or to put your head on. So I made a little pillow from the leggings. So already I have two uses out of one pair of leggings that I upcycled upscale those clothes and make things that normally you would just get rid of them and it'd be fun because if you teach them to make different things that is just wonderful and they learn how to get multiple uses out of one item which is great now there is a dress in here that i'm going to find this one now, I'm going to show you this dress. Now, this I'm going to take back out and I'm going to keep it. And I'm going to tell you why. I was going to donate it. I mean, I was going to donate this dress. Okay, it's very long on me. See it? It's a pretty dress. This is from Tara and Sky. This is also Walmart. And it's a pretty dress. Now, it's so long on me. I'm short, okay? I'm not very tall. And it goes down to my feet, so I have to wear high boots with it or something. And then I have to hold it up when I'm at church. I wore it one time for church. I think it was last winter. I can't remember. I've had it for two years now. I wore it, and then I'm like, I can't wear it no more. It's just got to be lifting it. So I was going to get rid of it, but I'm not. I am going to cut it up to here. And I'm going to put this balance over here. And I'm going to use it for work. That's my thought. Because I like wearing dresses to work. Now, I have lots of dresses. But I do wear jeans sometimes. And I wear my leggings. Because they're comfortable sometimes. But I never wear leggings by themselves. For one, I'm too up in age to be doing that. I don't have the shape for that. And I think it's not very modest, in my opinion, to wear leggings with a top. For me, okay, I think for my life that that's not being very modest for my life. So what I do, I always wear like a dress over my leggings or a shirt that goes very long past my hips and it's long and it looks decent. So I am going to go on ahead and I am just going to cut this like about up to here and put the balance on here and I'm going to wear it to work with my white leggings, my short capri leggings under it and it'll look really cute and I'll feel good and comfy because that's how I like to dress and I think it looks nice so this dress is going to be upcycled and I am not going to get rid of it because I really like it I really like it look at this part right here I just really like it it's just so pretty and I don't want to get rid of it I just don't want to get rid of it now I have this one I bought a long time ago this is not a Walmart dress this is from Jones, New York. I don't know if I bought this in Florida when I was visiting my parents. And it's like a gingham dress. But I don't wear it. I don't. For one, I like dresses that kind of flare out a little bit. This is straight and this is kind of a little see-through. Maybe I should wear it. Maybe I can wear it to work with my leggings. Hmm. You can make a tablecloth out of it. A little table throw out of it. Because it is gingham. So you can always do that. So if you have anything like that, you can always change it. I have this book here. It's called Prairie Girls. And I wanted to share this with you moms and ladies and women of God from church. Because let me tell you, we have a responsibility to teach the young ladies how they should be, moral standing, okay, how they should act when they're out in public, when they're at a restaurant, how to eat when you're somewhere, how to speak when you're around people. Now, I'm going to say this, and I'm not trying to sound crude, but I'm going to say it because I've heard this. When I'm out at a public store and I hear a grown woman, I'm not talking about little kids, because little kids are little kids. They're learning, they're growing. I'm talking about adult women saying to another woman, I have to go blank blank in the bathroom telling what business they have to do in the bathroom in front of everybody to hear I think that as women 
we have to kind of be a little bit more discreet. And we also have to teach. Not, I'm not talking about being uppity up and snooty. I'm not talking about that. That's totally different. Okay, being snooty to people and acting like you're better is not what God calls us to do. I am talking about being discreet as women, teaching our young girls to be discreet in love, not yelling at them and screaming at them, teaching them how to do it by our conduct. So this is a great book called The Prairie Girl's Guide to Life. I really like this book. I think it's a great book. It has little projects for sewing, for making a nice rug. Um, it has some projects in here making rock candy it even talks about how to steep tea and you know if you have a daughter or your daughter's friend is coming over and they're old enough and you want to teach them how to steep tea or how to make tea it's always great to invest in one teapot and have a nice tea party just have a tea party invest in one go to the thrift store pick up a teapot invest in one teapot and sit with your daughter or your granddaughter and if you have no children if you there's young ladies at the church that visit with their moms you can sit with their mom and with them and you can even teach them how to have a nice tea party have cookies and talk about things that are important to us as girls and as women of God I think that's so important so if you're interested this was on Amazon the prairie the prairie sorry girls guide to life and you can also probably find this on thriftbooks.com for cheaper I can't remember how much it was because I got this a while back so I can't remember, but I wanted to share that with you because I think the importance of teaching our girls to make do with what they have. You don't always have to go out and buy a new blouse, buy a new skirt. You can take what you have. If you have a blouse that has a stain on it, or maybe a skirt, use brooches to cover it. I have brooches, use a brooch to cover it. I mean, some stains are too noticeable to wear, but if it's a little stain, then nobody's gonna notice, put a brooch over it and wear it and upcycle that blouse. If it's a skirt, you can put patches on it. There's nice patches now that they have out. Flowers and different things that you can make something so adorable. I just really love these kind of books. Let me have a sip of my coffee. Okay, I'm back now. Actually, my battery died. So I had to stop for a little bit and re recharge my battery. So let's go on ahead. Let me show you the next book. We talked about the Prairie Girl um, guide for life book which is a really great book now i'm going to show you this one this is definitely an old book from like the 70s and this is the complete family sewing book this is a family sewing book so these books are great like i said go on thriftbooks.com you can find books for very inexpensive and you if you shop with them frequently you get free books i love thriftbooks.com so i just wanted to share that with you so this is a great book what i love about this book it has look the first page says free pattern offer this is an old book but here look it has all the different styles of skirts you can make dresses it shows you like different patterns and you know you can always find patterns when you go out to the goodwill salvation army thrift stores sometimes they're getting rid of patterns for 25 cents and you can make a new skirt and for very inexpensive and you can even use what you have, cut it up, open it up, and remake it and make a skirt. So um, this is just great. I don't want to go out and buy new clothes. I don't. I want to start using what I have at home. And those clothes that I'm not wearing, upcycle them and use them. And you know, I was even thinking this dress here, I can always make a skirt out of it. Just thinking about that. I'm not in any way a great sewer. I'm just going to let you know a lot of sewing, I do it by hand. I am not, I have a sewing machine. I have, it's very tedious sometimes for me, but I know there's a lot of women out there that like to sew, that sew by hand, that are great sewers, and I am sharing this with you. And if you're not a great sewer like me, then just do it by hand. Learn how to do it by hand, and you can do some great things. Get a little closer. How you can match skirts with hats, with tights, with different things, with purses. And one thing I love to use that I want to share with you, I love to use like ribbons. I love to use these. These are from the Dollar Tree. Where's my other one? Here's the other one. These are from the Dollar Tree. Look how pretty these are. You can put these on purses. You can tie this to a purse and you upscale the purse. You have a purse that you're tired of. You feel that it's dull. You need a new purse. I like purses, but I don't collect them. 
what I do is I add ribbons to them. I add brooches to my purse and I change them around and I make them look pretty. And I also put these on my hair. If I have a plain t-shirt and I just want to look a little bit, you know, more dressy, just add one of these to your hair. I have one on now. I just pulled my hair back this morning. Throw one of these on and you don't even have to do a, like a lot of fliff and fluff to your hair. And it makes your hair look so pretty. So these are nice even when you're wearing your hair up. These are nice to add to your hats. These are nice to add to blouses. Any way you like to get dressed. These are just really nice. They have these at the dollar store if you're interested in anything like that. They have those at the dollar store. And then here they have like different patterns. Things you can do for belts. You could even take like a cloth belt and put it around a dress or a blouse. You could even do that. And that'll work really, really good. Let me see if I find something else in here. It says know your fabric. It has a fabric conversation chart. And it says know your fabric. Know your different fabrics. I think these are things we should know as women. Because these things should be important to us as women. Taking care of our homes. Taking care of our clothes. What we have. There's a good feeling that comes with that. There's a great feeling that comes with that, not a feeling of pride, okay? Pride comes before the fall. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking that feeling of, God, I accomplished something today. Even if you take one blouse, one dress, one shirt, and take that shirt, get, go to your closet after this video, and take out that shirt, that skirt, those pair of jeans, whatever it is you have, and say, okay, I don't wear these anymore, but what can I use it for? How can I upcycle this? What can I use this for inside of my home? I think it's so important as women. I like this one here too. Shows patterns. I like those skirts and those tops. So pretty. I really enjoy this book. This is one of my favorite books. This is a book that you can sit down with and you can enjoy with a cup of tea. You know, this is also part, like if you're sitting in your living room, shut the TV off, shut that news off that's driving you bonkers. And you can sit with a book like this and go through it and take notes, you know, and do something fun. I'm going to show you these. She's wearing a poncho. You know what a poncho is. That's what she's wearing. Some of you, I don't know if you're too young, you may not know what it is, but ponchos are so nice. I actually have a couple. And I've wore ponchos since I was a kid. I remember one that I had that was crochet. I still remember it. And it had green and white. I remember my mom buying me a white poncho. I remember wearing those, especially in the spring and summer. Do you know I still wear them? I still wear them. Not the same ones. Of course not. <laughs> I've grown some. I still wear them to church. I still enjoy them in the spring. When it's cool outside on a Sunday morning. I still enjoy them and I still wear them to church. So this is a great book if you're interested in upcycling, if you're interested in doing something with the clothes that you have. Get off here. Let me go on ahead and recycle one of these items. I think the one I'm going to choose to recycle, um, upcycle, excuse me, not recycle, is this one here. I'm going to make a little pillow out of it and then I'm going to show you.